I am Peter, I am a father of three, three teenagers, 13, 14, 15. They are a big reason uh, for which I am in politics. The other reason is that I work for the EU for the last more than 20 years, and I have learned a bit the ropes of the EU because I worked for the EU at different levels. I started in the legal service of the Council of Ministers. Then I was in charge of several pieces of negotiations, several pieces of legislation, including uh, legislation with environmental aspects like CO2 emissions in cars. Um, um, and then I was heading Europe House in Malta for five years. And then I was working for Antonio Tajani, um, heading the communication efforts of the president. And uh, well, then that, that brought me to politics as a candidate. I was a candidate last time um, uh, for the MEP elections in 2019. And uh, basically I continued my political activism with the Nationalist Party since then. Over the last few years, I have fought a few battles, um, including some relating to the environment. For instance, I was with the people of Marsa Scala against the marina without an impact assessment. I was with the people of Njar against the solar farms. I was, uh, you know, with all of us in this uh, very, very sorry state uh, of our seas, you know, with uh, raw sewage or less than treated sewage being pumped into the sea every day. Um, and f in fact, the European Commission has brought Malta in front of the European Court of Justice on this case. I was very vociferous on this uh, on this case and uh, I actually also asked the Auditor General to conduct a performance audit report about the spending of over 70 million of EU funds by the Maltese government uh, in the treatment of raw sewage. So they spent the money, the contractors got paid, but the sewage is still flowing into the seas. Um, a few points I would like to mention as an introduction, just to trigger maybe some curiosity or some of our interest. I, I tend to take a very, uh, let's say, comparative approach to politics in Malta. I try to compare Malta with what's happening even close to us in Sicily uh, or in other member states. And I think that is something that is necessary when we speak about elections for the European Parliament, but also when we speak about local matters, because people understand better when you compare. One, one aspect which it, for me is very interesting, I love the sea, I love the sea a lot, um, and to me it's so sad to see the state of our seas in Malta, the state of our biodiversity in Malta. I happen to come from a family of fishermen, my father was a passionate fisherman, I've been fishing since I was six months, and uh, up till 15 years ago, or maybe a bit less, you used to go fishing and you catch like six, seven, eight kinds of fish. Now, basically, I can tell you, I mean from personal experience, the biodiversity of our seas has plummeted. Um, now, when you see what's happening in Sicily, you know, uh, there are aquatic reserves. We have them in Walt as well. We have... Uh, marine protection areas. But while in Sicily they are patrolled, they are enforced, in Malta enforcement is something, you know, <laughs> for another government, <laughs> not for this government. Uh, so that's one point which, uh, which really concerns me and as, as an MEP candidate, if elected, if elected, this is one of my key, my key uh, pledges and this is, I have published, it's on YouTube, it's on my website. Um, I want to focus also on implementation because there is no point having an EU producing 200 laws every year, but then the few laws which we really need, you know, for a quality of life are not implemented in practice. We need to focus on implementation. And that concerns uh, marine protected areas, sewage in our seas, quality of our air, and there's a, there's also a very interesting point which concerns us being in Gozo right now. You know, three years ago, the government declared through the European Commission 
Gozo as being on track to be climate neutral. How good is that? That's beautiful, right? On paper. By 2030, by 2030, have you seen anything happening which indicates that we're on that route? Nothing at all. So we're really good at, uh, you know, making the headlines, but then we're really awful at actually implementing anything. We have Nikolaus, which is polluting 13 times more than the vehicles it carries. We have ODZ being raped day in, day out. Also with sheep farms. You know, I am a, I'm a, I'm a huge supporter of Maltese product, of Maltese produce. I'm a huge supporter of that. But when I speak to the farmers, they are having a really hard time. And then they, they have developers, you have business people developing uh, sheep farms on virgin land. 